University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello, there's another half hour of intellectual thrust and parry ahead of us, we hope, as two more teams play for a place in the second round. The winners go through automatically. The losers could earn themselves a second chance, too, if they're among the four highest scoring losing teams from these first round matches. Murray Edwards College, Cambridge, may be an unfamiliar name even to the most dedicated viewer of this programme. In fact, it's unfamiliar to most of the students there, too. In fact, it's the women's college formerly known as New Hall. It was renamed this summer after its founder, Dame Rosemary Murray, and its benefactors, Ros and Steve Edwards, who made their pile, perfecting that boon to modern civilization, the computerized billing system. Tonight's team have an average age of 19. The institution's career on this program uh, might politely be described as checkered. Let's see what a change of name does for them. Hello, I'm Kelly Roach. I'm from Lincoln, and I'm reading Modern and Medieval Languages. Hi, I'm Helen Arms from Sussex, and I'm reading Natural Sciences. And there, Captain. Hi, I'm Ruth Kieran. I'm from Dundalk in Ireland, and I'm reading Natural Sciences. Hello, I'm Elaine Oliver from Hillsborough in County Down, and I'm reading Modern and Medieval Languages. Now, Sheffield University were runners-up last year. They might even have taken the title had this year's captain, who was down to compete last year, actually turned up for the interview. So we're delighted he's managed to make it all the way here tonight. The university originates in the amalgamation of three local institutions in 1897, and it received its charter in 1905. It now has a student body of around 25,000, making it one of the UK's largest. And in the past, it's educated David Blunkett, Eddie Izzard, and the aviator Amy Johnson. Compared to their opponents, Sheffield's team are positively ancient with an average age of 20. Let's meet them. Hello, I'm Joel Weller from Leicestershire and I'm studying for a PhD in cosmology. I'm Jim Oliver from Exeter in Devon and I'm studying history. And there, Captain. Hello, I'm Edward Pinney and I'm studying international relations and politics. And I'm Phil Woods from Essex and I'm studying English. OK, you all know the rules. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. What personal pronoun links a novel by Yevgeny Zamyatin that influenced Orwell's 1984, a documentary by Arundhati Roy covering the world politics of power, war, corporations, deception and exploitation, and the first word of the preamble to the US Constitution? Ah, Sheffield Pinney. We. Oui. Correct. <laughs> we the people. So the first set of bonuses go to you, Sheffield. There are manuscripts destroyed by fire. Firstly, for five points, when his dog Diamonds knocked over a candle and set fire to papers representing several years' work, which physicist is said to have cried out, Oh, Diamond, Diamond, thou little knowest the mischief done? Newton. I think I can guess. Newton. It was Isaac Newton, yes. Secondly, for five, in 1835, John Stuart Mill was sent the first draft of a history of the French Revolution to read, but is made thinking it was waste paper, used it to light a fire, forcing the author to start again from scratch. Who was that author? Edmund Burke? No, it was Thomas Carlyle. The memoirs of which romantic poet, having been deemed unsuitable for publication by his friends, were burnt in the fireplace of his publisher, John Murray, in Albemarle Street after his death? Coleridge. No, it was Lord Byron. Ten points for this starter question. What three-letter acronym is used for the television coding system generally used for European broadcasting in which one of the two chrominant signals is reversed in phase for each alternate scanning line? Ah. Uh, Sheffield Penny. Pal. Pal is right. Your bonuses now are on <laughs> Richard Dawkins. Richard Dawkins' 1998 book, Unweaving the Rainbow, takes its title from which work by John Keats, in which the poet claims that Newton had destroyed the beauty of the rainbow by explaining the origin of its colours? Lamia. Lamia. Nominate Oliver. Lamia. Lamia is right. Which work of 1986 by Dawkins takes its title from the argument proposed by William Paley in the 18th century that the complexity of living organisms is evidence of a divine creator? The blind watchmaker? Correct. Isn't it enough to see that a garden is beautiful without having to believe there are fairies at the bottom of it? These words by which British comic novelist who died in 2001 were quoted by Dawkins in The God Delusion. Douglas Adams. Correct. Another starter question. 
Born in 1833, which German composer claimed that his awkwardness with women saved him from both opera and marriage? His works include variations on a theme by Handel, German Requiem, and the Academic Festival Overture. Doesn't look as if any of you is going to tell me. Sheffield uh, Weller. Uh, Schubert. No, it wasn't. Anyone want to buzz from Murray Edwards? Murray Edwards Roach. Strauss. No, it's Brahms. We're going to take another starter question now. In 1938, the American chemist Roy Plunkett accidentally discovered what waxy, opaque material when he opened a container to find a gas had polymerized into a resin that was highly resistant to chemicals and heat and was extremely slippery. Teflon. Sheffield Weller. Teflon. Teflon is correct. <laughs> another set of bonuses for you, Sheffield. They're about painting, generally believed to be a self-portrait. The artist in his studio, or the art of painting, showing a rear view of an artist painting Cleo the Muse of History, is by which 17th century Dutch master? Rembrandt? Rembrandt? No, it's by Vermeer. L'Atelier du Peintre, the large canvas painted by Gustave Courbet in 1855, in which a nude model, a little boy and a crowd of onlookers watched the artist at work on a landscape, is in which Paris museum? The Musée d'Orsay? It is. Depicting the artist at work alongside the Infanta Margarita of Spain, her maids of honour, two dwarfs and a dog, Las Meninas is a group portrait of 1656 by which painter? Velasquez. Correct. We're going to take our first picture round now. For your picture starter, you will see the logo of a current international campaign. Ten points if you can tell me what the campaign is celebrating. Sheffield Pinney. Artist. No, Murray Edwards. Take a pump, one of you. Murray Edwards Kieran. Child. It's been effective, hasn't it? No, it's celebrating the International Year of the Potato, apparently. <laughs> there we are. Um, right, so picture bonuses in a moment or two. Ten points for this starter question. The son of Vivian Westwood and Malcolm McLaren, the London fashion designer Joe Corey, co-founded which luxury lingerie company in 1994 with his then-wife Serena Rees? Murray Edwards Kieran. Le Perla? No, anyone want to buzz from Sheffield? Ah. Sheffield Weller. And Summers? Uh, no, do you know anything more about women's underwear? No, it's agent provocateur. <laughs> Ten points for this. What three words are denoted by the initials SWF, a term used since 2007 to denote the huge pools of capital controlled by foreign governments, particularly of oil rich ah. countries? Sheffield Pinney. Sovereign Wealth Fund. That's correct, yes. Well, after that lamentable failure on potatoes, you get the um, bonuses. There are three common varieties of British potato, as identified by the Potato Council. <laughs> it's very hard to take this question seriously. Five points, if you can name the variety. Firstly, this one, please. Rosset Burbank? Uh, no, that's a Maris Piper, apparently. Secondly, this one. Russet Burbank? Uh, no, that's a Desiree. Uh, and finally, this one. King Edward. Ah, oh, well done, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. <laughs> Although not included in the numerical succession of the monarchs of England, Henry the Young King was crowned at the age of 15 during the lifetime of which king? Ah. His Sheffield Oliver. Henry II. Correct, yes. Sheffield, your bonuses are scientific. What term denotes the movement of water down a gradient of water potential and ions down a gradient of ele electrochemical potential? Flow. No, it's diffusion. What term denotes the diffusion of water from a point where water concentration is high and solute concentration low to a point where water concentration is low and solute concentration high? Osmosis? Correct. What two-word term denotes the movement of water, ions and other solutes in a biological system, usually down a gradient of hydrostatic pressure? I don't know. Don't know, sorry. That's mass flow. Ten points for this. Give the four letters that in various combinations denote a Latin word that introduces the conclusion of a syllogism, 
the French word for barley, a paradigm verb of the Latin uh, third... Sheffield Weller. Is it ergo, E-R-G-O? It is indeed. Well done. <laughs> Your bonuses are on an English county, Sheffield. From Clee to heaven, the beacon burns, the shires have seen it plain. Are the opening lines of which literary work, a series of 63 nostalgic verses, first published in 1896? Memoirs of a Shropshire Lad by Eddie Houseman? Yeah, I'll accept that. It was actually called Just a Shropshire Lad by Eddie Houseman, yes. The Shropshire towns of Ludlow and Much Wenlock lend their names to epochs of which geological period, extending from the end of the Ordovician to the beginning of the Devonian? Cambrian? No, it's the Silurian. Dubbed a heaven-born general by Pitt the Elder, which Shropshire-born soldier created Baron Plassey in 1762 served as both Shrewsbury's MP and Mayor? Wellington. Wellington? Yeah. Wellington? In 1762? No, it's Robert Clive. Uh, Murray Edwards, there's still plenty of time to get going. See if you, what you can do with this starter question. The Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain and the screen characters John Steed and Mary Poppins are linked by which fashion accessory popularised ah. in Britain? Sheffield Weller. The umbrella. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses, Sheffield, are on a London square. In recent years, noted for the presence of the anti-war protester Brian Hall, which open space close to Westminster Bridge and HM Treasury was laid out in 1868? Parliament Square. Correct. Statues of four 19th century Tory or Conservative Prime Ministers stand in Parliament Square. Five points if you can name two of them. I don't know. This really, really, yeah. really probably. Um, there's not a Thatcher, is there? Um, no. um, Disraeli and Churchill. No, it's uh, Disraeli, Canning, Peel and Derby, so you don't get the points there. And finally, among the five remaining statues in the square, two are prominent South Africans. Five points if you can name either of them. Nelson Mandela. Correct, the other one was Smut. Another starter question. Born 1839, which American physical chemist gives his name to the thermodynamic quantity of free energy defined as the maximum energy available for conversion to work? Murray Edwards Arms. Is Gibbs? Gibbs is right, yes. <laughs> what a relief. <laughs> Now, go powering away with these. They're on flags. Which country's flag, adopted in 1949, features one large yellow star and four smaller ones, said to represent the proletariat, the peasants, the petty bourgeoisie, and the patriotic capitalists? It's China. China? Correct. The five points of the white star on which African country's flag represent its people's traditional homelands, some of which now lie in Djibouti, Ethiopia, and Kenya? Tanzania? Uh, no, it's Somalia. Which Asian country became fully independent in 1965 and has a crescent and five stars on its flag, the stars representing democracy, peace, progress, justice and equality? Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Bangladesh? No, that's Singapore. We're going to take a music round now. For your music starter, you're going to hear an excerpt from a well-known opera. Ten points if you can identify the composer. Sheffield Oliver. Uh, Wolfgang Am Amadeus Mozart. Indeed, it's from... Marriage of Figaro. Yes, it is. Well done. <laughs> Your bo music bonuses are three more excerpts from Mozart operas. Five points if you can give me the name of the opera in each case. Firstly, for five points... You don't need to buzz, you can it's confer. The magic flute. The magic yeah, flute. it's the magic flute. It's Queen the Night. Yeah. The magic flute? It is the magic flute. Secondly.
Come on. No idea. Or oh, take it, Don yes. Giovanni. No, it's from Cosi Fantuti. And finally. Don Giovanni? That is from Don Giovanni, yes. Right, ten points for this. Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes. What eight words express the next favourite thing in the song from The Sound of Music? Murray Edwards' arms. Snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes. Indeed. <laughs> Do you want to sing it? No. no, you don't have to. <laughs> All right, your bonuses are on chemistry. The golden yellow colour of sodium is a common contaminant in flame tests, but it can be filtered out by examining the flame through a piece of glass of which primary colour? Blue? It is blue, cobalt blue. The presence of which naturally occurring compound is indicated if a deep blue-black colour is produced by the addition of potassium iodide, iodine reagent? Starch. Correct. The standard test for chloride ion in acid solution is to add a few drops of which silver salt, the presence of chloride being indicated by the formation of a white precipitate? Silver nitrate. Silver nitrate. Correct. Ten points for this. When Fidel Castro stepped down in 2008, President Omar Bongo became the world's longest-serving ruler, excluding monarchies. Of which African country did he become president in 1967? Uh, Sheffield Pinney. Basutoland? No. Murray Edwards? Murray Edwards Oliver. Congo? No, it's Gabon. Ten points for this. Typically consisting of a pivoted wooden pole with a weight at one end and a container at the other. The shadouf is a device originally developed in ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia for which particular purpose? Uh, Sheffield Woods. Is it for raising water? It is, drawing water or irrigation, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on debt, Sheffield. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, what familiar two-word term means money that a creditor is bound by law to accept if it is offered in payment of a debt? Legal tender. Correct. Only three denominations of money are legal tender for a debt of any amount throughout the United Kingdom. Name two of them. Pound coins. Pound euros. The two pound. Yeah. One pound coin and two pound coin? Yes, the other one's the five pound. And finally, one penny coins are legal tender throughout the UK only for the payment of sums up to which small amount? Five pounds? No, it's 20p. Ten points for this. Answer as soon as you buzz. Take the number 666 and divide it by the sum of its digits. Which prime number is the result? Murray Edwards Roach. 31. Anyone want to buzz from Sheffield? You're not working it out at all, are you? You're sitting there. <laughs> hoping that we'll think you're working it out. No, it's 37. Ten points for this. A three-masted bark designed for Scott's first Antarctic expedition, Discovery, was built in the shipyards of which port on the east coast of Scotland, where, since 1986, it's been on public display? Ah, uh, Sheffield Pinney. Clyde? Nope. Anyone want to buzz from Murray Edwards? It's Dundee. Ten points for this. Only three stars intrinsically brighter than the sun lie within 12 light years of it. Alpha Centauri A is one. Name one of the others. Murray Edwards Kieran. Sirius? Correct. A procyon is the other. <laughs> Your bonuses are on recent bestsellers. The Kite Runner and A Thousand Splendid Sons are novels by Khalid Hosseini set mainly in which country? The author's birthplace in 1965. Iraq? Iraq? No, they're in Afghanistan. Oh. According to the title of a 2002 work by the Norwegian Asni Sierstad, what is the occupation of Sultan Khan, who invites her to live with him and his family in Kabul? A doctor? No, he's a bookseller. Which book by George Kreil about a US congressman's involvement in a covert CIA operation to support the Afghan rebels in the 1980s was released as a film starring Tom Hanks in 2007? Oh. What was Tom Hanks in? 
We don't know. That's Charlie Wilson's War. We're going to take our second picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see an early 20th century painting of a character from Shakespeare who appears in the bottom right of the painting. Ten points if you can name the character. Uh, Sheffield Weller. Ophelia. It is Ophelia by Odilon Redon. That was Ophelia among the flowers. Your picture bonuses all reflect uh, mid-19th century vogue for works based on Shakespeare's plays. I want the title of the play depicted in each case. Firstly, for five. Macbeth. Of course. Secondly, for five. The Tempest. It is. And finally... A Midsummer Night's Dream? Yes. <laughs> Fingers on the buzzer to start her. Which war links Mourning Becomes Electra, the trilogy of plays by Eugene O'Neill, the Sergio Leone film The Good, the Bad and the Ugly, and Stephen Crane's novel The Red ah, Badge of Courage? Sheffield Weller. The American Civil War. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses, Sheffield, are on terms used in ecology. In each case, the answer is an everyday word that has a specific restricted meaning in ecology. Firstly, for five, what name is given to a group of interbreeding organisms of the same species in a defined area? Come on, chaps. Culture? No, it's population. What name is given to a group of interacting populations in a defined area? An ecosystem? No, it's a community. What name is given to the ecological or biological status of a species or organism within a community? Life? No, that's niche. Five and a half minutes ago, another starter question. Occurring in two types, amphibole and serpentine, what mineral is used in products such as cladding and brake pads and has a name derived from the Greek word for inextinguishable. Murray Edwards Kieran. Asbestos. Yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on place names. Founded in 1854, what is the largest city and until 1997 the capital of the Central Asian Republic of Kazakhstan? Nominate Roach. Asman. No, it's Almaty. The Battle of the Alma was a Russian defeat by British and French forces during which war? Napoleonic. No, it's the Crimean. And finally, Alamogordo, the site of the detonation of the first atomic bomb in 1945, is situated in which US state? New Mexico. Correct. Right, ten points for this starter question. Give the three words that complete this statement by the politician Nancy Astor. I married beneath me. Ah, Sheffield Oliver. All women do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on the titles of novels, Sheffield. The market in The Pilgrim's Progress, in which all pleasures and delights are for sale, gives its name to which novel published in instalments from 1847 to 48? Vanity Fair. Correct. Mr. Standfast is a character in The Pilgrim's Progress and is also the title of a thriller featuring Richard Hannay by which writer? John Buckham. John Buckham. John Buckham. Correct. One translation of the name Beelzebub, a character in both The Pilgrim's Progress and in Paradise Lost, was used as the title of which 1954 novel by William Golding? Lord of the Flies. Correct. Another starter question. Which of the Great Lakes of North America are connected by the Welland Ship Canal, which bypasses Niagara Falls? No, I'll tell you, it's Erie and, Erie and Ontario. Ten points for this. What device was invented in 1952 by the American physicist Donald A. Glaser for the detection of electrically charged particles? Ah, uh, Sheffield Woods. Is there a Geiger counter? No, good heaven. No, Murray Edwards. One of you buzz. Come on, wake up. Murray Edwards Oliver. Metal detector? No, it's the bubble chamber. Ten points for this. People with what blood group type are universal donors? Murray Edwards Oliver. A. No. Good heavens. Sheffield? O. Oh. Ah, Sheffield o. Penny. O. o is right, yes. Your bonuses now are on scientific journals. Which weekly science journal, founded in 1869, published a paper in 1953 entitled Structure of Nucleic Acids, a Structure for Deoxyribose Nucleic Acid by James D. Watson and Francis Crick? I have to guess, Nature? 
it was. Founded 1848, the American Association for the Advancement of Science publishes which weekly magazine? Popular Science? No, it's Science. Founded in 1956 in the UK, which popular weekly magazine features the last word section, which attempts to find answers to readers' scientific queries? New, New scientist. New scientist is right. Two minutes to go, ten points for this. From a ruler of antiquity who was the subject of a poem in this meter, what alternative name is given to a line of iambic hexameter? Ah, uh, Sheffield Oliver. Alexandrine. Correct. Your bonuses now are on a type of pasta. The name of which type of almond or coconut biscuit is related etymologically to that of a variety of pasta? Don't know. That's macaroon. What is the meaning of the word macaroni in the song Yankee Doodle? Don't know. It's a dandy or a fop or a coxcomb. Macaroni is the name of a species of which type of South Atlantic bird, probably on account of the golden crest on its head that was thought to resemble the headgear of an 18th century fop? Nominate. Is it penguin? It is a penguin, yes. Ten points for this. In cell biology, what materials are taken into a cell in the process of pinocytosis? Ah, uh, Sheffield Weller. Uh, potassium ions. No, anyone want to buzz from Mary Edwards? <laughs> Mary Edwards Roach. Protein, proteins. No, it's liquid. Ten points for this. In heraldry, what colour is indicated by the word ghouls? That's G-U-L-E-S. <laughs> Mary Edwards Oliver. Yellow. Anyone want to buzz from Sheffield? Sheffield Weller. Gold. No, it's red. Ten points for this. Regarded as a cooperating state since 1979, which is the only non-European country to participate in the European Space Agency? Uh, Sheffield Pinney. Turkey. Anyone want to buzz from Murray Edwards? Murray Edwards Kieran. Turkey? Oh, sorry. No. Very silly to repeat the wrong answer. It's Canada. Ten points for this. In the northwest of Russia on the river Velikaya, the city of Pskov became in March 1917 the site of which major political event? Ah, uh, Sheffield Pinney. The murder of the Tsar's family? No. Marie Edwards, anyone want to buzz? They were murdered in, in Katerinburg. It's the abdication. And at the gong, Marie Edwards had 65, Sheffield had 260. Well, he salvaged a bit of honour anyway, but he, he didn't seem very awake today. I don't quite know why. I'm sure you could do much better than that if you really, uh, if you really were on the money. But um, we should have to say goodbye to you, Mary Edwards. Thank you very much for taking part, and good luck in your new incarnation. 260 Sheffield is a terrific score. We should look forward to seeing you in the next stage of the contest. I hope you can join us next time for another first-round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Murray Edwards College, Cambridge. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. It's goodbye from Sheffield University. Bye. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs> Art meets cooking, and it's a feast for the eyes and the belly with the hairy bakers next, and then an intelligent fuel tank nozzle. But is it clever enough to convince the dragons in the den tonight at nine here on BBC Two?